Welcome to our video tour of the Carnival Inspiration. Inspiration was the first recipient of the line's Evolutions of Fun makeovers. One of the most exciting refurbishments in 2007 was the introduction of Carnival Waterworks, which includes a four-story tall, 300-foot-long twister corkscrew water slide, a dual-lane water slide, a splash park, and even a dual slide for the pint-sized cruisers. Also, as a part of the refurb, the pool area was completely transformed into what Carnival calls its resort-style pool area. Artificial palm trees and thatched awnings invite the cruisers to chill out poolside with a drink or snacks. There's also a stage for live music, dancing, and of course, the loved and loathed Harry Chest Contest. If you're looking to enjoy one of the two large whirlpools available, get there early. They're quite popular. Carnival calls the adults-only Serenity area a kid-free oasis. Located aft, Inspiration Serenity is smaller than those found on larger ships, but still provides a relaxing sanctuary and terrific views from the back of the ship. Practice your putting skills at the nine hole mini golf course or take in the awesome ocean views while staying fit on the jogging track at the top of the ship. Clever engineering protects joggers and golfers from the high winds. The fitness center is accessed via the spa carnival front desk. There's a hallway on the left and right side of the spa carnival check-in that leads to the men's and women's locker and shower area before entering the gym area. Located on sports deck 12, it can get pretty busy here, especially during sea days. It's quite roomy and houses a variety of state-of-the-art machines, including treadmills, steppers, circuit training, and weight machines. There's plenty of space to move around in here. Ocean views are plentiful as most machines face the windows. The workout facilities are free, but you do have the option to hire a personal trainer or take a special class for a fee. There's also a group fitness room. The Carnival Inspiration offers two main dining rooms. Both share an interesting mix of colors, golds, browns, blues, and reddish hues. Looking here at the Carnival, located aft on Atlantic Deck 8, what we enjoy most is the eclectic ceiling art and lights. Handmade Italian fan-shaped seashells in marigold and garnet glass are among its decorative highlights. There are a variety of table sizes in both dining rooms. However, the Carnival seats slightly more than the Mardi Gras at about 658. There are no real booths in either dining room. We believe that the booths were removed in the 2007 refurbishment in favor of banquette style seating. The Mardi Gras dining room is located on Atlantic Deck 8 near midship and seats about 650 guests. It's very similar to the Carnival dining room in decor and layout. And again, the pizzazz is found in the dazzling ceiling work and lighting. There are a good variety of food options, and most are quite good. The standard chicken, seafood, beef, vegetarian, and pasta entrees are available. And of course, there are plenty of dessert options. For the diet conscious, low calorie spa entrees are also available. The service in the dining rooms was very good and staff performances were particularly entertaining. This is the popular Brasserie Bar and Grill located on Lido Deck 10. If we can borrow a phrase from the 80s, this place is totally tubular. The design theme of flowing purple tendrils illuminated by neon and stained glass is quite unique. 
but this place is really about food and lots of it. You've got the grand buffet, salad bar, round the clock ice cream, and a pizzeria. It's the perfect place to grab a quick meal. Finding a table is usually not a problem, but lines for some of the serving stations can get quite long at peak times for lunch and breakfast. Open from about 7 a.m. to midnight, the Brasserie is extremely popular during breakfast and lunch. For tasty bite-sized samplings of some of the chef's favorite savory foods, don't miss the taste bar. It's always a fun little treat. And speaking of treats, if you've got little ones or a sweet tooth, you'll likely be drawn into the vortex of the candy store. It's small, but well stocked. Café des Artistes Coffee Bar is the coffee bar on board the ship. The espresso drinks are high quality and certainly a nice change from the buffet coffee. At the heart of the inspiration, you'll enjoy the glitzy six-story atrium flanked by glass-sided elevators. There's an extremely small internet cafe and a sitting area that's a terrific place to meet up with friends. Aside from the mesmerizing light show of the glass elevators, Two valuable resources can be found in the atrium, the guest services desk and the shore excursions office. The Violins Bar is located on Promenade Deck 9 near Midship and close to the Monte Carlo Casino. This is a great place to sit and people watch. There's a lot of marble and gold scrolly shapes here, but the centerpiece is of course the array of violins behind the bar. The Rock and Roll Dance Club is the ship's full-fledged nightclub on Promenade Deck. This is a fun place, complete with pearl-finished guitars with fiber-optic strings. Matching pearl-finished bars keep the theme and lights give it a hopping disco feel. Here we have the Rhapsody in Blue Piano Bar. The design theme was originally intended to transmit the spirit of George Gershwin's music. We're not sure about that, but it sure is a fun spot to meet friends for casual conversation in a unique atmosphere. The avant-garde located on Promenade Deck 9 features classic music and karaoke entertainment. It's adorned with statues and wall art inspired by and designed to celebrate the Cubist art form. We've heard that the three-dimensional artwork was designed to suggest the motion and interaction that can be shared by guests who dance there. So yeah, get in motion and interact! The Chopin Lounge attracts a lot of guests on their way to dinner at the Carnival Dining Room. Its flat screen TVs seem to air an endless stream of sports, which makes it a great place to stop and catch up on sports news. Here we have the Candlelight Lounge located aft on Promenade Deck 9. It's the ship's cabaret style entertainment hangout. If you like decorative fiber optic candles, then this is the place for you. Hundreds adorn the walls and ceiling and help illuminate the karaoke, art auctions, and late night comedy shows. There are good views of the stage from most seats here, although there are a few easily avoided support beams that could be a bit of an obstruction. There is a stage here, a dance floor, and a bar. Located at the front of Promenade Deck 9, the two-level Paris Lounge seats about 1,300 people. The sofas are comfortable, there's lots of leg room, and most seats have terrific views of the stage. Again, with the occasional exception of a pole obstruction here and there. The acoustics are wonderful. 
all in all, this is a great place to take in the lavish, Vegas-like productions, comedians, magicians, and passenger talent shows. The onboard casino comes to life typically any time the ship is in international waters, and it's a great gathering place for passengers looking to try their luck. Located on the promenade deck, deck 9, the Monte Carlo has slots, blackjack, craps, roulette, bingo, and Texas Hold'em for gambling fun. The layout is open, and it's easy to find your game. Who knows, maybe you could take some of this home. There's not a lot of shopping on the Inspiration, but the fun shops on Atlantic Deck 8 are certainly worth browsing, especially on sea days. If you have teenagers ages 15 to 17, then they'll probably want to stop by Club O2 for some music, video games, food, fun, and new friends. Club O2 is the perfect round-the-clock hangout for teens. The arcade on the ship is tucked in a tricky-to-find corner on the port side of the Grand Atrium on Promenade Deck, adjacent to the O2 Teen Center. Once you find it, the kid in you will enjoy several video games and a place to redeem your winnings. To play the games here, you simply swipe your room card. That's it for this episode. If you like this tour, be sure to click those like and subscribe buttons. Check us out on Twitter at CruiseTipsTV. Until the next episode, we'll see you on the high seas. Slowing down, slowing down.